when our robots from around the world clashed here in Washington this week as part of a global competition bringing high school students together to learn tech, but also to learn to cooperate to solve important problems. A viewer Steve Barragona reports. It's part soccer match, part science exhibit, part United Nations. The first global challenge brought high schoolers from nearly 160 countries to Washington. They built robots to sort blue balls from orange ones and deliver them to different parts of the playing field. With its spirit of friendly international competition, it's like a robotics Olympics, but better, says founder Dean Kamen. But the sports in the Olympics aren't the sports that will give kids the skill sets, the vision, the courage, the technical expertise to take on the world's problems. Kamen says these students are learning those problem-solving skills, along with the math, engineering, and programming prowess to be global tech leaders. But they also learn collaboration. Each match is three on three. Teams have to cooperate to get the job done. Lita Azizi is with the Afghan team. Every team has their own character to them. I can't say that we are good or they are good, but we are very excited and a bit nervous. The Afghan team had extra challenges. An all-girl team in a male-dominated field from a country torn by conflict. Plus, their team was denied a visa, twice. After an international uproar, President Donald Trump cleared them. When we got rejected twice by the United States Embassy, we didn't feel defeated. We made our robot within two weeks and we have our robot here. But we saw that God wanted us and we got accepted. This time again, it is in God's hands. Whatever is in our destiny, but one thing is for sure, we will never lose our hope. They did not win the most matches. Finland did. But that was never really the point, says Dean Kamen. We've created a game where 160 robots are going to fight each other, and most of them will lose. But every kid that designed and built and sweated and worked over that robot has won. Next year's competition will be in Mexico City. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Washington.